guys, it's day three in beautiful Havana, Cuba. And today we are having right now a cafecito with our host family. Um, they came up to prepare breakfast for us. One thing that I didn't mention that we did yesterday was have an amazing conversation with Alberto after dinner. It was something that was totally unexpected. We just started to speak with him about the Cuban lifestyle and how the people of Cuba feel, especially about Castro and his influence on the country. And the conversation that we had was so profound and so amazing um, that I, I really wish I could have recorded it or I really wish that I could have shared it with you guys but it was one of those things where it's like one you're in the moment you don't really want to interrupt it with that but outside of that it was just it was just really deep I'll try to explain Hola Alberto. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> Basically the people of Cuba love them some Fidel even way after his passing, like we see posters of Fidel everywhere. And when he explains why, um, you really get an understanding. Ooh, bananas. Fidel really fought for equality, equality of all people. And it's for that reason, when you come to Cuba, if you're a foreigner, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're yellow, it doesn't matter. You're an equal. Like you can sit at their table as equals because everyone has rights and everybody has a right to practice those rights. I could probably go on and on about this and we were talking for like almost three hours to the point where we were planning on going out and it didn't even happen. Hope you guys are having an amazing day and we look forward to sharing more of the trip with you soon. Live rich. Breakfast is not at Tiffany's, but at Alberto's and my After breakfast, back to the buses we went. But this time, we weren't headed to Old Havana, but instead to some of the local beaches, Playa del Este or at the East Beach. We were told by Alberto that this was one of the best beaches for a good mix of locals as well as tourists. So we are now in La Playa del Este, which is the East Beach. We took two buses to get here um, and we were going initially to, we were planning to go to like Veradero or like one of those other beaches and it's kind of a good thing we did it because it would have taken us like a long time, like six or seven hours. How long do you think it took us to get here, dude? Not too long. Sure, not too long, but it was about an hour. We're gonna hang out, have some fun in the sun for a couple of hours. It's a little cloudy today, so it's not super, super hot. What else do you wanna say, babe? Nada. Nada. Oh, Boo here is picking up some Espanol, right? <laughs> you want to say something in Espanol? Um, si huera muy buente. Oh! Now we're getting into areas where people are, so we don't want to be outcast. Okay. Todos en la playa. At the beach. Hey. <laughs> the beach was awesome until the weather started to turn a bit. The winds picked up a lot. Unfortunately, at the time, I didn't know how to swim. That's a life skill that I'm currently working on. So with the crazy waves, I opted to stay out of the water, which is kind of a bummer because we planned on doing some water activities. On another note, to illustrate the value of the tourist currency to local Cubans, while we were there, a tourist lost his parasailing board. Instead of letting it go out to sea and paying the cost for the lost equipment, he told the staff he would pay someone 10 CUCs to go out and get it. One lifeguard actually took him up on his offer and eventually got the board, but was struggling to get back to shore for almost a half hour. Super scary. The beach travels worked up an appetite, so we went out to dinner. <laughs> Dinner was okay, but way expensive considering what it was. Over 70 CUCs for two entrees and one drink. We definitely preferred the flavors of the meal that we had at the apartment for less than a third of the price too. Lesson learned. 
Buenos dias, Richters. It is our fourth and second to last day here in beautiful Havana, Cuba. And today the plan is that we are going to be doing a bus tour. Today is pretty much like super tourist day. Um, <laughs> taking pictures in front of all of the big attractions and hopefully later on tonight, if we're up to it, we are going to go dancing at the Buena Vista Social Club. The Buena Vista Social Club um, was one of the inspirations for me to like really want to come to Cuba. So to be able to experience that in vivo live would be awesome. I'm going to put this phone down because my arm hurts and it's, I also have to concentrate because I'm wearing heels. Um, and I don't want to break my ankles because Nick would laugh at me. So I'm gonna go now. But I hope you guys are having a good day and you'll see what transpires throughout the day. Live rich. dinner and to change before heading over to El Moro for the sounding of the cannons at 9. Such a treat of an experience and I'm so happy we made it in time. A couple minutes later and we probably would have missed it.
rest of the night, I mistakenly left my phone at the apartment, so I couldn't take photos or video, but we actually did end up going dancing with a couple of new Cuban friends that we met that night. And while the dancing didn't take place at the Buena Vista Social Club, we had a blast. The next day went by so fast. We hopped over to the street market to see our new Cuban friends again before heading back and seeing Alberto and Marta for a farewell lunch. We didn't want to go. It's our last day here. We're having so much fun. Um, we actually managed to go out and say, come back, come back. Come back. Oh. <laughs> we love them, they're so okay, awesome. Okay. <laughs> we really have to eat though because our flight leaves in like two hours. To go we loved Cuba and hope to be back soon if Trump's policies don't ruin it. We'll catch you in the next Live Rich Adventure, but until then, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel. Live Rich and Happy Dream Chasing. Money, 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 money! In Cuba, there are two different currencies. You have the coup, C-U-P, and you have the cook. C U C. The difference in the two currencies is 24 to 1. So you want to make sure that when you're converting your money from the euro or the dollar or whatever currency you decided to bring down with you, you want to make sure that you're getting back the correct currency. Now, there are a couple of ways to tell the difference between the two currencies. <laughs>